Greetings. This is Dave with Ham Radio Test and Review. My call sign is N8DAV, and the motto for my channel is One Test is Worth a Thousand Expert Opinions. Now, today I'm going to be bringing to you a full, te full length test and review of the uh, Nagoya NA701 antenna. All right. This is an authenticated Nagoya antenna bought from a uh, retailer that uh, specializes in selling Nagoya antennas. So it is it has been authenticated as a real one. And so I also want to show you the package that it comes in. All right. As you can see here, it's original packaging and uh, it's sold by BTEC, by the way, if uh, you're wondering who the retailer is. Uh, and um, as soon as I uh, come back, I will be getting uh, down to the beginning of uh, going through all the specifications. All right, I'll be all right, right back. back. We're back. This is the test and review of the Nagoya NA701 uh, dual band antenna. It is uh, designed for the 2 meter, 70 centimeter band. It's 8 inches long, and this is what it looks like again. This is the uh, UPC code on the back, and then, I'm sorry, not UPC, <laughs> Q, the QR code on the back. And then, of course, the, the uh, printing on the front. Um, and as you all know, the 8-inch, the 7 to 8-inch uh, format of these antennas is uh, my favorite. I think that it's a, a good compromise between a 18-19-inch um, long um, uh, antenna and a stubby antenna. However, this one whips around a little bit, uh, but it's not too bad. It's a little more than I would like, but it's uh, not as bad as it goes. Woo, woo, woo. Anyway, um, all right, so it's a rubberized whip antenna with an SMA female connector. Um, the manufacturer states that it's 50 ohms and that it has an SWR of 1.5 to 1 or less. It's uh, designed to take a maximum of 10 watts, and uh, being so short, obviously, it, uh, it is a compromised antenna. I'm sure there's a little coil down here in the base, and then there's also some windings up here that are a little thicker at the bottom, and then right here, it, uh, it gets a little bit uh, narrower. So I'm sure some of the windings are for the uh, two meter and 70 centimeter bands right there. Um, it is specified as having a gain of 2.15 dB, but it doesn't state whether that's for two meter, 70 centimeter or both. Uh, they also state that it's a quarter resonant and it's a quarter wave. But again, they don't state if that's a quarter wave on two meter or on 70 centimeter, I can only guess. And uh, of course, they uh, they don't say that it's a, uh, a resonant on any of the frequencies. All right. Uh, last thing I need to tell you is that it does come with a rubber washer, and I paid eighteen dollars and ninety eight cents for it on Amazon, and I'll provide an affiliate link for the antenna and all the equipment that I use to test the antenna. And uh, when I come right back, um, I will be uh, doing starting all the testing. One last thing I'd like to say about this, and that is the quality of this antenna, especially when you compare it to uh, the uh, diamond and the comet antennas, the smiley antennas, uh, just a little things that annoy me. You know, you're paying $19 for an antenna like this, now, Nagoya isn't really well known for the best antennas in the whole world, and they're also known for their knockoffs of uh, Diamond and Comet. So the quality uh, control on this antenna, um, apparently not quite as good as what I would like it to be up to. There's a, right here at the top of the base where the antenna is, goes down into it, there's some flashing, some plastic flashing here that it just... I don't know, that kind of stuff really annoys me. It's not a big deal. It's not going to affect the way the antenna operates. But um, once again, I'm, uh, you know, when you pay this kind of money for an antenna, you expect to have uh, good quality. So anyway, when I come back, we'll be do starting all the testing. Thanks. All right. First up, we're going to test the SWR of the uh, Nagoya NA701 antenna. Uh, using uh, the uh, Nisei SWR power meter and uh, on the two meter band. Let's see what our SWR is. It is 1.95 to 1. Next up, we are testing the Nagoya NA701 uh, HT walkie talkie antenna on the 70 centimeter band. We get an SWR of 1.45. Last but not least, I'm going to test the uh, Nagoya NA701 antenna on the GMRS band channel 16. 
We get an SWR of 1.17. All right, I'm back. As I um, always do, I uh, always back up the testing of the power SWR meter using the Nano VNA Antenna Analyzer. And uh, so here we are with the uh, Nano VNA. And when I turn it on, it will default to the two meter band. So this is the Nagoya NA701 antenna on the two meter band using the Nano VNA. And we have an SWR of 4.453. All right, next, I am going to bring it up to the 70 centimeter band. at 446.000. And that is an SWR of 1.951. All right. Last but not least, we're going to test this on the GMRS band. And we come up with an SWR of 2.146. Right. Next up, we are doing the uh, field strength test on the Nagoya NA701 antenna. Now, with the field strength testing, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the 2 meter, 70 centimeter GMRS bands, and uh, I will uh, come back at the end of the video and uh, let you know what the results are and how they compare to other antennas that I've tested previously. I run this test using the exact same um, transmitting radio, the HT, which is a Baofeng UV17 Pro GPS, using the same field strength meter um, and at the same exact prescribed length. I do this uh, with the only difference being the antenna that's doing the transmitting, all right? so. Uh, this is the field strength test of the NA701 antenna on 2 meter band. Next up is the field strength test of the Nagoya NA701 antenna on the 70 centimeter band. And last but not least is the test of the Nagoya NA701 antenna on the GMRS band. Channel 16. All right, I'm back in Flock, Fox Glen Park in Flagstaff, Arizona. I almost said Flox Glen. Yeah, that uh, I can be tongue-tied pretty easy. Um, anyway, it's a beautiful day today, as you can see in the background. Uh, I've got uh, bright blue skies, no clouds. It's a little cool, a uh, bit nippy, but uh, it's just a beautiful day, and I'm just so happy and blessed and and lucky to be able to live in a place like this. So I like to share it with you every so often. Uh, today I am uh, testing the um, Nagoya NA701 antenna. Uh, this is a 8-inch long antenna. It's on my trusty Baofeng UV17 Pro GPS. I test it always with the same radio on a fresh, fully charged battery. Um, and it's about 2.6, 2.7 miles distance with some trees and a house or two. Um, uh, obstructions as well as a freeway overpass and a partial hill. So this is a really good test for antennas. If uh, the antennas are not very good, um, I'll get a fair test. If they do a pretty good job, I'll get a good test. Uh, that'll just have some static. Uh, if there's very little to no static, I call that an excellent test. Uh, and, uh, and if it cannot hold the repeater open the whole time, I call that a failure. All right, so let's go get the testing. Let's see what happens when I when I do the test. This is N8DAV. Testing one, two, three, four. This is N8DAV. Testing one, two, three, four. Okay, well that was actually pretty impressive. I've got some static uh, coming back. I could. Uh, I could uh, definitely hear some static coming back. So I would say uh, that's more than just a little bit of static. So I'm going to call this a good test. Now, considering this is an 8-inch antenna, some of the 8-inch antennas that I've used before, um, I usually only get a fair test on. So that's a, this one's pretty good. 
Um, I have to give this a, um, a, 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 a good test uh, on it uh, in this particular case. So uh, next time you see me, I'll be back in my shack out on my back deck and we'll be reviewing all the test results and I'll give you my opinions after that. Be right back. If you like my content, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And uh, if you want to see more of my content, please uh, click on the bell icon so you can get notifications of everything that I release. I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much for your consideration. All right, I'm back from Fox Glen Park, beautiful Flagstaff, Arizona, out on my back deck, taking in the beautiful rays from the sun. It's about 61 degrees out here, a little nippy, but hey, I'm loving every minute of this weather right now, all right? So I uh, thought I would just share that with you because uh, I'm just blessed and lucky to live in a beautiful place like this. All right, so what did we learn from everything today? Well, first of all, I got to tell you, the uh, Nagoya antenna was bought from a certified uh, retailer that sells uh, true Nagoya antennas. So therefore, nobody come back and tell me that it's not a real Nagoya. I will delete your comments. All right. All right. Let's get into it. Um, SWR. SWR testing went very, very well. I consider anything uh, three or below to be excellent. Uh, this particular antenna did 1.95 on uh, 2 meter, 1.45 on 70 centimeter, and 1.17 on GMRS. On the Nano VNA, however, a little bit different story. I got terrible SWR on the 2 meter band uh, with this antenna. I'm not sure why. Um, and, and I'll explain that in just a second. I got um, very good SWR on uh, 70 centimeter, 1.95. 5 to 1, and uh, 2.146 to 1 on GMRS, which is also good. Um, the reason, I, I'm not really sure why. I, you know, I've been finding lately that on the 2 meter band, uh, some antennas do really well with my power SWR meter, and then do terrible with the uh, nano VNA. Or, um, they do really well on the, on the power SWR meter, and they do really well on the nano VNA. Or they may not do so hot on the power SWR meter, but when they do bad on the SWR meter, uh, sometimes, uh, most of the time, the nano VNA backs that one up too. So um, I don't know why. This is the worst I've seen where I got a good SWR on two meter and um, uh, just a terrible uh, SWR on the um, on the nano VNA. But that's why we test, right? And that's why we don't question. We just take the results and we decide what we want to do with them. All right. So with this antenna, um, I got in the field strength testing, I got um, 0 .0, 0 .0, um, dBA on, uh, on the two meter band. Now, how does that compare to other antennas? Well, it's actually it compares good. I got uh, I got some better, much better results on some much bigger antennas, which I expect to get. But uh, on the two meter band, I got good results, which really surprises me. As bad as the um, SWR on the Nano VNA was concerned, um, the field strength uh, test actually kind of backs up the SWR that I got on the um, Power SWR meter, uh, because if I'm getting that bad of an SWR, I should get pretty bad uh, field strength. And in this case, I got good field strength and, uh, and a good SWR using the power SWR meter. So those two tests actually back each other up. Um, so I'm not sure that the, I got a good reading with the Nano VNA. I keep uh, 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 calibrating it and you know trying to figure out why sometimes I just get wild problems and I don't know why. But I'll, uh, I'll recalibrate it and retest it. And if I get similar results, I won't come back and say anything. But if I get different results, I'll come back and say something. On the 70 centimeter band on this antenna, I got a bad reading on, uh, on the 70 centimeter band with the field strength test. Now, again, that doesn't back up the good results I got on the, um, on the field, the uh, long distance and uh, modulation tests, because I always use the 70 centimeter band for that. And on GMRS, I got good results as well on the field strength test. So 
Um, and that, again, backs up the uh, SWR testing that I got. So a little bit of mixed uh, reviews on here. Um, but once again, on the, um, on the uh, a real world uh, distance and modulation tests, I got good results. Not excellent results, but good results on the, of course, on the 70 centimeter band where I do all my testing. All right. Would I buy this antenna for myself? Yes and no. Um, yes, actually, I would. Uh, even if I intended to use it for two meter, I would probably buy it and do some two meter testing on it to make sure that that uh, result that I got with the Nano VNA uh, wasn't just a, a, a fluke reading. All right. Um, I suspect since it's really good on um, on 70 centimeter and GMRS uh, that it probably will do well on those two bands. Um, so I will try it on the uh, two meter band and I'll let you know if I come back, if I find anything weird or different, I'll come back and let you know. Otherwise, if you don't hear back from me, uh, it tested out well on the two meter band. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll try some of that and let you know. Um, so would I buy it for myself? Yes, I would. Um, are there other antennas I would buy before it? Yes, there are. However, um, this is a pretty inexpensive antenna at $19. It's uh, pretty normal. But again, here we go. Signal stick, $22, $3 more. And that's an excellent antenna. And I would use that all day long. And I do. I, I, I believe in the signal stick and I, I use it a lot. So, um, but if I wanted a shorter antenna, uh, this is one I would take into consideration. All right. So those are my opinions. And uh, just remember that um, the uh, motto for this channel is one test is, is um, one test is worth a thousand expert opinions. Excuse me. I'm just having a brain fart today. All right. My name is Dave. I live in Flagstaff, Arizona. My call sign is N8DAV. And I'm saying 73 and so long.